Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a seafood boil. Super excited for this video. So first things first, I have a full stick of unsalted butter here. I'm going to add a full small jar of minced garlic. Um, you can add as much garlic as you want. It all depends on what you like. And then I also went ahead and cut up a large onion and put in here as well. What we're going to do, we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes or just until the butter melts and then we're going to add our seasonings. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Now I added about two to three tablespoons of each seasoning um, to this mixture. Um, I'll show you guys what seasonings I used in just a second. You want to go ahead and get that all stirred up and then you want to go ahead and add about two to three cups of water. Um, so here I'm just adding that water in there, that yellow um, stuff that you see in the water is just a, a chicken bouillon cube that I went ahead and added. So go ahead and add your chicken bouillon cube in there. And then just stir everything up until it's well combined. And the seasonings I put in here were chili powder, garlic powder, lemon pepper, onion powder, cayenne pepper, blackened seasoning, creole seasoning, old bay, that uh, bouillon cube and some brown sugar and then you what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and let that sauce cook for 20 minutes on medium low and it should look like this after it's done cooking and once it's done you just want to turn the stove off I've already boiled my potatoes and my corn so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my cooked potatoes and my cooked corn in this sauce and I'm just gonna let them soak in this sauce until our shrimp and our crab are ready And while our uh, corn and our potatoes are soaking, let's go ahead and start to clean off our crab. Now these are already defrosted. What I'm doing now is I'm just scraping off a lot of the gunk that sometimes is on the crab um, before you go ahead to boil it or to put it in the oven. Now you could use a, a paring knife or you could go ahead and use a toothbrush, but that right there is a lot of the gunk and the stuff that is on crabs before you go ahead and cook it. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and clean that off really well. So just take your time to go ahead and do that. Here you just see me going ahead and deveining the shrimp. Now I don't like to take the shell off of my shrimp um, when I cook it, so I go ahead and just devein it with the shell on. All I do here is I have a little fork and I'm just going to go ahead and poke that fork through and I'm going to go ahead and devein uh, that shrimp. Now it does take a little bit of time so just be patient with it um, and take your time when doing this. And now that our seafood is clean, I'm going to go ahead and take our crab legs and I'm going to go ahead and put them in a pan and then I'm going to go ahead and start to season them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some melted butter. This is a full stick of melted butter. I'm going to squeeze some garlic paste in there and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that all over the crabs and I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you cover the pan with aluminum foil that way the crab shells don't dry out. While our crab is in the oven, we can get started on our shrimp. Here I just have some melted butter. The seasonings I have here is um, Old Bay, lemon pepper, um, and some onion powder. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some um, garlic paste. I wanna stir that all in, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and saute the shrimp until it's fully cooked. Now be careful here because you don't wanna overcook the shrimp because then it'll be hard to peel. And once your shrimp is done guys, that's pretty much it. You just want to go ahead and plate everything together. I'm taking my potatoes and my corn out of my seafood boil sauce and I'm playing it down. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add our cooked shrimp in here as well. And then you're going to go ahead and take that seafood boil sauce that we made in the beginning. And we're just going to go ahead and pour that all over um, the seafood. And then lastly, I just went ahead and added some parsley and paprika on top. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers you guys are really loved and appreciated again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time